Hello everyone, how are you today? Pattern-collections.com is the website that I use and I just want to remind you because it's Monday that there is the opportunity to help support this website by making a donation using that PayPal button. You can donate with a credit card or with PayPal. Um, just making that option available to you helps keep the website ad free. We're going to change our focus to a new, um, oh, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, a new month. I don't know what I'm thinking about. My brain just went, Phew! and I lost my concentration. Sometimes that happens. So um, we are now doing the May uh, prompts. Yes, you're going to see this in July. I'm all I'm I'm now two months ahead, which is awesome. So I'm actually drawing this in May. I'm actually drawing this on Mother's Day in the United States. Um, so happy Mother's Day to you guys all. Late. You'll you'll see it in July. So you you'll be seeing it around fifth of July, which would be happy fourth of July to y'all. Um but I think this is interesting. They've decided that for May, we're going to grow a flower, a mandala, a grid, a steampunk creation. Um, we're going to use these daily patterns as you normally would or use each section to build one larger creation. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and make some larger creations uh, this month using the prompts. So as you can see here, let me zoom in a little bit. As you can see here, the prompts for the first week are Quirly, Rum We Num, which both are seed patterns, Folk Flower, which they call a sprout pattern, 3PLI, which is also a sprout pattern, and then they have Leaf Fan, which is a leaf pattern, and Lilo and Orchid, which are flower patterns. Now, I looked at them all. Um, and I decided I, I can, I want to do three because my week is, is, is three part week, right? Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I decided that this, uh, this one here that says folk flower, um, it says it's a sprout, but it looks like a flower to me. Um, I want to use that one. I want to use the leaf fan. And I want to use this Quirly. I've done Quirly before. I've done Lilo, Orchid, and this 3P PLI. I've done a lot of these ones before. Um, but I've decided I'm going to use these three patterns. Quirly, Folk Flower, and Leaf Fan in one drawing. So today I'm going to actually start with the Folk Flower. Because I want this Quir Quirly run to be in the background. So I'm going to do the Folk Flower, the Leaf Fan, and then the Corley in that order. So today we are going to do Folk Flower. And Folk Flower is a pattern by Ina Moser back in 2018. Look how pretty that is. It's beautifully uh, when, it's, when it's colored. Look at that. And those are colored pencils. This one might be marker. Or she might have done this one digitally, but these ones she did in color pencil. These, these, these two, the blue and the pink one. It was pretty. And the difference between this one and this one is that this one doesn't have that back row of petals. Anyways, we are going to try this. There are a lot of variations. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do this little circle, this little oval. Second thing we're going to do is this. So it's sort of like a, an oval with an oval on top. And then we're going to make these two little petals that way. And then this sort of bean shape here. And then another curve here to make another set of petals. So you could, if you want, rather than doing this bean shape, if you want to do two sets of petals first and then the bean shape, 
that would be okay too. And then we're going to do an, a little aura right here. We're going to do a little aura right there. A couple of lines coming up there. And that's the base pattern. She put some little sprigs coming out there. But then you can use a variation by putting petals around the outside of this little base. I see that's why they called it a seed because this, this is just sort of a seed and you can grow a variety of flowers based from it. But I think I want to put a couple of these um, on my page and then maybe some of the leaves and then the corley in the background. So I'm gonna plan this out a little bit. So you're gonna see the same page over three days. I'm gonna use a, whoops, let me zoom you out just a little bit. Boy, I gotta zoom out even further. Okay, turn on my light. Boy, my phone keeps going off. What the heck is going on? All sorts of things are going on. Okay, so um, what color do I want to use? I think I'm going to use, I'm just going to use the like tan off-white color. But these are a little bit larger. I'm not using my biggest, my square ones, because I feel like I want this one to be a rectangle. So this one is approximately four and a half inches by six and a half inches okay just so you know not that it makes any difference but just so you know i'm going to uh insert myself a border something like that give me a a general idea of where the edge ought to be i think it's too close down here Something like that. Okay, and then let's let's plan out some of what we're gonna do here. And I know you're not gonna be able to see it very well because I draw very, very light with my, I use a mechanical pencil and it has very, very light drawing. Um, but I think, oh, and if you hear any noises, uh, little dog rumbly noises in the background, uh, we are pet sitting, and so uh, I've brought her in here with me so that I can keep an eye on her, what she's doing. Um, I'm going to put, I think I'm going to make three of those flowers. One, two, three, kind of like that. And then maybe some leaves coming this way and this way. Um, I might add a third one here. And these quirlies are going to come out in the background. So I'm going to put three of those flowery things, some leaves, and we'll see what happens. Um, and let's just start. I'm going to use this size. I'm going to use an O2. So today I'm using an O2 Copic Multiliner. And... Uh, here. Let's start here. I'm going to put it about like so. And I'm going to zoom you guys in. And then it goes like that. And then it has a petal and a petal and then it has this mm. bean like shape and then another petal and another petal my word, my phone keeps going off. So much happening today. And then, oh, and then there 
there's a aura here and there's an aura down here and there are some lines there and then you can just make your variations however you f see fit I like these petals uh, coming outward here those sort of heart kind of shapes like that kind of mimics this bean shape here I like that I'm gonna put a couple of them full size like this and maybe one up here and then these ones can kind of overlap like so something like that and then we can put some some extra folds in here like so I like that I'm happy with that okay let's do another one I'm gonna put it a little bit further over so that they can kind of overlap maybe a little bigger perhaps and then like that and like that and then the bean shape and then another petal shape And then the aura and then petals on the outside So, and maybe a bit of a fold. Like that. That looks good. So far, so good. And then I'm going to do this other one going the other direction altogether, like it's, like it's drooping downward or maybe sideways. I don't know. Which way do I want it to go? Let me, let me think. I want it to go sideways or do I want it to go downward I think I want it to go downward okay so that one and then that one and the petal the bean the other petal right and then Bean like petal shapes coming out from there. Like so. Something like that. Sort of a, a bouquet of flowers that are going a variety of directions. We want this extra bit here. I forgot the extra bit there. And we want this bit coming out of here. Something like that. 
I'm going to leave those just like that. I think I'm going to color, erase some of this. And shall we color? Let's color. Um, what colors do I want them to be? I really like that blue and the pink. Maybe I'll do a, a soft green. That's a grayish green. I want to use that for shading. And I'm going to use a light green. No. Maybe a bluish green, like a teal green with some blue. Okay. I'm going to use these three colors to, for one of my pick, one of mine. These three, which are Terra Verde, Thalo Green, and Teal Green Light. That's upside down. There you go. These are from the Castle Arts color pencils. And I'm going to start with the lightest color, which I believe is the bluey green. And I'm just going to do all of the petal in this bluey green. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do all of it in this bluey green. Very light start. So you guys can fast forward through the shading e or the coloring in if you would like. And I think on this middle part, I am going to put it kind of a yellowy color, but I'm going to start it out. The whole thing is going to have this base of this kind of bluish green, this teal green light. Start with that. And I am going to get a yellow. Uh, this one, and I'll put a yellow in here, which of course for this one will turn it kind of a green, but that's okay. Um, and then the next layer, we're going to go for the next darker color. I should have used some white too. Let me use some white as well for highlights. I may come back with my, my gel pen because you really can't see those. Um, I want that color there. I want it here darker. And then I want it maybe on the folds. And maybe coming up that way. And then I'll make these a little darker on the edges. Perhaps. And then I want this grayish green. Yeah. 
It's my shadow color. See, I don't want, I don't want graphite, that dark graphite gray. I want a slightly darker color of a, in a similar tone though as what I'm already using. Something like that. I like that. Okay. I think I may want to put those sort of these things, whatever they're called, stamen. I do like that. And I do think I want a bit of white on the edges of my, my petals where I want a, just a nice highlight. Something like that. There we go. I like that. That came out good. Okay, that was a good first start. Put these away so that I don't lose them. And then next, I'm going to want a uh, Stay all in the in the blue pink family. No, no. I think I want to. Yeah. I'm deciding whether I want to do like corals and reds for the next one. Reds and purples. Hmm. Where do I want to go? Pinky purple. Let's go with a pinky purple. So let's go with a really light pink. Um, a medium pink and a dark from my dark areas. Okay, so those are my three colors I've chosen. Those, so I've chosen a rose pink, a uh, Jaipur pink and an Indian red light. I've put them upside down again. There you go. Now you can see the colors. Don't ask me in the comments. Okay, let's do this one. And once again, I'm gonna start with a base of all the same light pink color. darker pink color like that and where else did I put it I put it along in here and I put it a little in here and I put it along that edge and I did it on my folded over bits. Don't have as many folded over bits on this flower as I did on the other one. Right, that's what I did. Like that. And then I 
go back with the light pink and brighten up some of these areas. that and then the darkest one for my shading down deep in the dark poor corners of the dark corners dark corners of the dark corners that makes sense I am making a lot of sense today So the day you're going to be seeing this, I am going to be probably starting to pack for my vacation. It's coming up. Hopefully we're going. I don't know. As of the time I'm drawing this, it's two months ahead and we still don't know what life is going to be like. So. It is what it is, right? A um, little bit of white. Yeah, you can't really see that white. I can't see that white. Nobody can see that white. But I'm putting it in there anyway. Put my gel pen. The gel pen you can see. What are you doing over there, Stinky? She's finding things to settle down on. I don't know. She's trying to sit on a plastic bag. Plastic bag is not exactly a comfortable place to sit, my love. And a couple of these. A couple of these. Like that. It's coming along. One more. I'm going to color one more. Let's put these colors away. 34. Number 31. Uh, this one. And let's go for some sort of like corally orangey colors. Uh, I'm going to start with, I'm going to actually start with this one, I think. I'm going to start with that one and go to this one. And then maybe this one for the deep. No, let's go with the brownie color. Okay. I need to sharpen a couple of these. that. So we're going to start with this way. You need to see it this way. Flesh deep, uh, cad orange, and cinnamon. That's okay. You can jump up there. Yeah, go ahead. Jump on the chair. It's all right. I don't know. She's a silly little dog. She is, uh, I don't know how old she is. Um, my friends have had her four or five years. And she um, was a rescue from a pound. So uh, they're not exactly sure how old she is. They think she's maybe six or seven could be as old as nine, could be as young as five, 
well, probably not five because they've had her almost five years and she was definitely not a puppy puppy when she, they got her. So, and she, um, she is a mix of things. She's a smallish dog. She is white and she is a Bichon poodle mix for the most part with maybe a few couple other things mixed in with her but she's got poodly hair what are you digging for there is nothing there for you to dig it's just my carpet and then the yellow and then um But we are pet sitting for, I don't know how many days, four or five. Our friends have gone off to Hawaii for vacation. Very exciting. Very, very exciting. They actually got to go on vacation, so I am hopeful that that means we get to go on vacation as well. When we go, we will be going to Florida for my nephew's wedding. That will be fun. Hopefully all the family that has originally said they were going, is going to be able to go. I don't know. Um, all depends on, on all sorts of things um, with with my sister-in-law and her kids and, and uh, how they're how they by then will be um, still recovering from my brother-in-law's passing. Ooh, that was a stinky. What was that? You just gassing? Wow. Huh. I need to open a window. Makes your eyes water. Making me wonder if she was naughty, but I don't think so. I think she just had some gas. Whew. Girl. Okay. What else was I talking about? I've already forgotten. I got distracted by a stink dog. Whew. Wow. Must be the new diet. She's on a new diet. She's not happy with the new diet. She keeps looking at her bowl like, well, are you going to actually feed me real food? Huh. You keep doing that. That's, that's all you get, honey bunny. You don't get anything else. You are on doctor's orders to lose some weight. And they think she might, might be diabetic or pre-diabetic. So they need to really pay attention to her food. What are you doing down there? And so... She is not happy with the new diet, are ya? No, you're not happy with the new diet. Yes. I love you. Okay. Why don't you go sit down somewhere? 
She has places in here she can sit. All sorts of places. I even told her she could sit on my art chair. The other chair, not the one I'm sitting in now, but the other one on the other side of the room. She just doesn't want to settle down. All right, so we're almost done. Three of those. I think that looks good. Okay, so, so far we have, and I'm not gonna put, well, I should put the names. I'm gonna have, to, I already have to decide which direction this is gonna have to live. And I don't know yet based on my leaves. That's the way I drew it. I think that's the way it's gonna live. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my signature down here in a corner and it's going to be, what was this called? I've already forgotten, folk flower. Okay, that's the first one, folk flower. And we'll just build upon this on the next video so you'll see the next thing. That's cool, huh? And uh, I like these ones where I make a progression. That's That makes it more interesting for me. It does make it so that you guys have to go back when you get to the last video. If you haven't seen the first two, you have to go back and watch the other ones, which I guess is okay. And um, I will see you on the next video. I'll be back in just a second. You won't see me for two days, but anyways, uh, you got have a great day. Do something nice for someone today, and I will be back. Bye-bye.